today's video i'm just gonna be telling you guys about some of my amazon favorites of course amazon has basically everything my hair is a little crazy i'm just gonna share with you guys some of my favorites i'm gonna also add other favorites click on the links below if you are interested in these products so also if you haven't already please do subscribe to my channel hit that red button we'll jump into the video okay so first thing i want to talk about is this gaia purity rosehip oil luxurious moisturizer ultra premium and this is just 100 percent rosehip oil cold pressed and this stuff changed my skin a couple years ago i was going through acne and i couldn't figure out how to fix it it was about six months plus of trying new skincare try getting rid of makeup you know wondering if it's my brushes and once i switched over to using this at night i ended up falling in love with it it's you know a really thick oil so unless you have extra time in the morning for that to sink into your skin i would recommend it for nighttime it's so good. It's um, got essential fatty acids in here, and it's good for acne, it's good for anti-aging, it's good for cuts and scrapes and stuff like that. It's really soothing. This is like my baby. This is my second bottle, and sometimes I do switch out with a salicylic acid moisturizer at night. When I'm having like rough skin or whatever, whether it's rough acne wise or dryness wise i will just slather this all over me all day all night and it really does bring down my redness my irritation my acne and stuff like that so i can't recommend this enough super good super super good i have no idea where my nail polish went i'm in the middle of moving houses so everything like disappears after like if i just set it somewhere it's just gone <laughs> but i did want to mention essie nail polish it's a really good brand and i like to use the shade blanc which is just white i love white nails so i wanted to recommend that i'll put a little picture of it and link it below and then i also have this um gloss gloss high gloss <laughs> clear base top <laughs> what's it called <laughs> it's like this top coat and it basically makes your nails dry faster super necessary for me if i'm gonna paint my nails i hate that vulnerable time while you pa after painting your nails when everything is like a risk to like ruin your nails and for me it's just like so inevitable i shed hair like a freaking dog my room <laughs> it's kind of gross but like my room and like my space and stuff can get a lot of hairs all over the place even if i avoid it if i'm not careful like I will pick up a hair on my bed or on the ground it's really annoying or it's like on my clothes so anyways that dry stuff is really helpful it cuts down the dry time to like five to ten minutes and of course i still am careful after that for a few more minutes but when i feel it it feels dry i'm just you know try to be careful but it's a lifesaver for me i would do my nails a lot less if that didn't exist <laughs> i'm gonna look for some lashes that i had a few months back that i loved and wore for a few months i just i want to find them again so if i do find them i'll link those down below as well i'm gonna link down like my favorite makeup products too that you can't find like at ulta or sephora or like the drugstore like basically discontinued stuff that's still like out and about on amazon Another thing I want to talk about as far as kind of beauty-ish, I don't have them on hand because they're packed away, but they're my nose rings. I have one in right now. I've had my nose pierced for 10 years and I'll probably have it pierced for 50 more. I don't know why, I just don't care to get rid of it. But I really like to just have a small little stud in there. I actually got like a 10 pack or like a 12 pack for like six bucks on Amazon a couple years ago. And I've only had to use like three or four. And I still have like so many left. And so I found that these ones just stay in my nose. I was somebody who would lose my piercing in my sleep. I would wake up and I would have to like look for it in my sheets. And it was just like a struggle. I use the ball tip ones curled ones, L-shaped, whatever, hoops. These ones are great. It's just like a little bit of a hook. A really small little piercing. I thought I would share that because they last super long. I think that's all I have for beauty. So we'll just jump into the body care stuff real quick. So for body care, we will start off with the Theracane. This is basically a little bit of a massager cane or something like that. It's basically for those spots you can't get on your back 
or elsewhere, I guess. And it just feels so good. I would recommend this to people who have um, a lot of back issues. I mean, even if you don't, like we all get tight in the back and the shoulders and stuff. For single people who don't have anyone to give them a massage, this is great. Or if you're just somebody that day to day kind of needs a little extra TLC, like with your muscles and massaging your muscles, I would recommend this. This was like 30 bucks and it comes with different knobs. You can get different colors. It's just very helpful, very helpful. Sarah Kane, next, 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 next. Okay, so next I have this oil diffuser and it's just a really simple essential oil diffuser. You just put water and then a couple drops of your essential oils and it will spit out a vapor. And it also has lights, so that's cool. If I can find this, I'll link it down below. It's Rada Beauty. I'm sure it's like 20, 25 bucks. There's gotta be a lot of good ones though on Amazon. There's like more aesthetically pleasing ones, more functional ones, more fancy ones. If you're looking for something really simple, this is a good one. I would recommend essential oils for basically anyone. It just kind of puts this cool vibe, <laughs> makes your room smell really nice, but without it being like candles, if that makes any sense. It's like a more natural smell. I don't know. But also, of course, essential oils can help with different things. Peppermint helps with stomach aches, nausea. Lavender is supposed to be calming. Eucalyptus is like an antiseptic as well as tea tree. So... This is Relaxery essential oils. This was like, it came with lilac, violet, sunflower, rose oil, which are kind of random like flower oils, but they smell really nice. I've used Nature's Bounty and Shea Moisture as well. I don't have like a favorite brand. I know there's like doTERRA, there's something living, but I mean, I find the like really inexpensive ones to work well. I'm trying to think of all the other ones. There's so many. You can also definitely find a lot of good like massagers, neck massagers, heating pads and stuff like that on Amazon. The last thing I'm gonna talk about for like body or health is gonna be this waist trainer and I have it in purple. You can get different colors. This is from the brand Techno Med and I got this back in 2015, back, you know, at the peak of the waist training season <laughs> times. I really do enjoy this to this day. It gives me extra back support. I have back pain, so this helps on those days where I'm like trying to work out, you know, and just like try to have a good posture. It also, of course, kind of engages your ab muscles, so it is gonna kind of help shape you, make you a little bit smaller in the waist. When I was using this a lot, a lot, I did see a difference in my waist. This is a size medium. Regardless, I just like to use this, like I said, when I'm in pain, when I'm working out and I want extra support, or when I'm working out and I want extra engagement with my abdominals. So yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do some electronic techno technology type of stuff, filming type of stuff. Um, I'll first talk about my camera and I'll just show you on my iPhone. I'll film it a little bit of my camera and my light. So it is awesome. I really do love it and recommend it. You can see that my viewfinder is on the side. A lot of them are usually on the bottom and if you can see that would make it difficult to even be able to see it because that usually you have something um, underneath your camera if it's set up on a tripod or just set up on a table in general and it also has space for my mic to be not in the way so it just really really works well so i use the canon eos m50 i really love it it's like the perfect camera for content creators especially like beginners and stuff and then i also have the esddi i believe ring light and this one was recommended by Amanda Ensing, and she has really good quality beauty videos, so I went with this. I just know you need some decent lighting. I really wanted a ring light. I want to invest in softbox lighting as well, which you can get on Amazon for about 60 bucks. But I just wanted to start off with the ring light, and I'm really happy I did. The thing that I really love the most about the ring light is you can change how bright and how warm you want it. So here's one setting. Here's the warm setting, which is like way too warm. We don't like that in film. It looks like you're outside or something. It might work for you for some people. And then this is turned at like mm, a quarter brightness. And then this is no brightness at all. This is just natural light, which is pretty still decent. And it won't even focus on the brightest because it's so bright. So yeah, here's the brightest one, which it still looks good, but it doesn't really pick up color as well. You see it's kind of like not picking up the color, even when it does focus. 
so you don't want it to be too bright but it's really good i love to put it on the top of brightness if i'm going to take photos so back to my camera the reasons that i really love it is because it shoots in really good quality it has this eye like this eye detection focus autofocus so it will basically follow my eyes and stay focused for the most part if i'm a little fast or if there's a lot going on it might take a second to focus but it's pretty good about doing it on its own which is like something i did a lot of research on before buying this camera i wanted to get like the best most functional one and some of them you'd have to literally go up and like click on the viewfinder to make sure it focuses every time and like it doesn't follow you so it gets out of focus this one's pretty dang good it also shoots in i believe 120 frames per second 60 frames per second i'm not an expert but i know those things kind of mattered <laughs> it also shoots in 4k but it's not the best quality i personally don't shoot in 4k but it's cool that, that it has that option if i really wanted to dabble into it you know i could at least do beginners it might not be the best quality but i didn't buy this camera for 4k but anyways i also got my road mic shogun mic from amazon and it's just a really good beginner microphone. It really amps up my volume. If I were not to use it, I would probably have really bad audio. And so now, even though I do speak quietly, I only have to do a little booster. I don't have to like distort the sound or anything too crazy, turn it up 400% or anything crazy. If you are in the market thinking about investing in a camera and lighting and stuff, I would definitely recommend these two for sure love them pretty good for the price point of the you know what cameras and ring lights pay cost typically so it's like a really affordable bracket and it's a really good quality so yes i love my m50 i'll just show you guys my reflector so this is really good for people that are creating videos photos taking photo shoots stuff like that i personally don't use my reflector enough because i don't really have like a setup where i can just have it sitting in the right position for me i'm like you know busy with makeup in my hands so i can't like or like other stuff so i can't like do this but you'll see how much more the light is shining towards my face versus here like there's lightness underneath my face which is really really good for good quality because what you really want in like beauty videos is about light bouncing in every direction so anyways i recommend this though if you're into production and stuff like that it's like 13 bucks really portable the next thing is gonna be this really awesome little thing that i got so this is a tripod for your iphone and it only lets you set it on sideways but hey if you're doing like a YouTube video or just if you're fine with like a landscape photo, then this works. But what I really love about this is this remote that comes with it and it has a Bluetooth component in here and you can connect your phone to the Bluetooth and then you just put your iPhone on the camera mode and you can take photos. So this is a huge, huge, huge secret for like a lot of people. If you want to take candid photos if you want photos that look like your friend or like your man or like your mom took them but you don't have somebody to take them for you you can do this it's not going to be every angle and like every it might be awkward if you're in public or whatever but you have an option if you want to do it i've taken pictures with it before i think i might have like one picture up where i used it but it looks like it's a selfie anyways but anyways super super helpful i really love this this is like 15 dollars, and it's just like worth it you know Ooh, i got about five minutes and i gotta get out of here so lastly i'm gonna talk to you guys about my backdrop and my backdrop stand i got these off amazon this backdrop is actually just a tablecloth that i got for a bridal shower but it was um you know it's youthful so i decided to just throw it in this video to show you guys but you can actually find real backdrops on amazon very affordable as well and it really can just make your setup look a little bit cleaner if you have like a mess going on all around you and then this backdrop stand was under 40 dollars as well i also have a tripod that was about 30 bucks that i'll link down below i made sure it was like tall enough to where it would like i could stand up and film myself so i'll link that down below but i always use the stand on my ring light because it just has that option where i can twist my camera on so it's really easy and simple that's about it so i think that's all i've got for today so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys have a good day or night and i'm sending you all the good vibes sending you peace and love and happiness peace out